All right, I think that we have known each other long enough that I finally feel comfortable enough showing you my Johnson. So let's see what it'll do. So I've been looking for a motor for this boat for a long time. But this is a 15 foot Grumman sport boat. Y'all know how I like Grumman's. And this is a, like a 1970 model, built like a tank. And I've got a brand new 9.9 .9 Mercury that I had on this boat, but it's too much motor. I mean, there wasn't but about that much of the boat in the water when it was uh, revved up. So uh, it made it way too squirrely. So I ended up finding this motor, this Six Horse Johnson, which you probably can't see it very well. I'll show you in a second. Probably can't see it very well right now. Um, from another local YouTube creator, Trim Kane Productions. So if y'all hadn't checked out his stuff, take a look at it. He does a lot of outdoor stuff. Um, and he only ended up being like four miles from me. So got the motor from him and we're fixing to see what it'll do. May not crank at all. Ran good in the bucket, but you know, they say me. Some people get those bucket motors. Sometimes when you have an old motor, you get a high intensity interval training workout in addition to the motor. So my heart rate's probably about 150 now. And if it dies on us and I have to paddle, that's gonna be out of the question. But Sounds good right now, so we'll see what happens. So the reason we came to Choctaw County Lake was because I paddled across this lake many times, so I'm not worried about paddling across it. better and I did put a carb kit in this motor but now it's idling real good it sounds good when it's sounds good at high idle I am gonna go over here and mess with the trim a little bit so I adjusted the trim a notch down so we can see if that makes a difference on how quickly it planes
So obviously, obviously this is a two stroke. The, the 9.9 that I had on here was a four stroke, uh, which I like the four stroke, but the issue with the four stroke is it was about 85 pounds, which is heavy for this size boat. That's putting a lot of weight on the back. So when I did idle down, I had to be very careful not to let anything wash over the transom of the boat. This motor right here is about 30 pounds less than that, around 52 pounds. So I was gonna see, turn my GPS on and crank it back up so we could see uh, what kind of speeds we were getting. I mean, I'm not, uh, it's not gonna be turn your hat around backwards uh, speeds with this six horsepower motor, but it is nice to cool off. <laughs> It's got a weird uh, brass screw-in plug, and it was lost originally. So I got another brass screw-in plug and drilled a hole in the hex top of the plug in order to be able to attach a rope to it so I wouldn't lose it. Well, in, in drilling that hole through that hex part, the nut part of the plug, it also put a hole in my plug. So we are taking on water. Um, imminent death is, is upon us and I'm going to take it back in. So, but I'm happy with everything so far. The boat just needs running. I'm going to go back home. I'll fill that plug with caulk, which will seal that hole up and make the, uh, make it back into a boat again instead of a sinking vessel. We do have some very chintzy life jackets in here. Thank y'all for joining us. Appreciate y'all watching like this kind of stuff we're going to be doing more in this boat in this old 1970s sinking vessel and uh, hit that subscribe button and i'll see y'all on the next one